You know, Hot Rods Customs, they're all about personal expression. And what better car to start with than a 1937 Lincoln Zephyr? A, probably the most beautiful car of its era. Now, Lincoln took their styling cues from the aircraft industry. You can see the sleekness of the car. It was supposed to slip through the air. The hood ornament resembles sort of a modern aircraft for that time. The instrument cluster and the dual uh, glove box, that was also after the aircraft. Same with the chrome around the seats. That's what the aircraft looked like back in 1937. Now the sleekness of this car was actually a little bit more aerodynamic than the airflow that Chrysler had actually put in a wind tunnel to see what sort of drag coefficient it is. Now the body on this car has also been modified very, very slightly. They've removed the filler, the gas filler cap, and they've uh, channeled it into the car. They've also changed the front fender. There's a little ornament on top of the front fender that's been taken away and just smoothed out slightly. The license plate has been moved off the fender into the center of the back. Nice clean lines on this car and that's what it's all about. The trim along the bottom of the running boards, that's custom built but it just fits in nicely with this car. The running boards themselves, they've been smoothed out and painted body color. Again, keeping in tune with that slick aero look. Now the beauty of these cars is you want to be seen. And we're going to take this thing for a spin and just see how nice it drives. As soon as we drive along this thing, it's a really smooth to run in a driving car. Now it's got some performance too. It's got a 429 cubic inch motor out of a T-Bird, C6 tranny, and it's got a Jag rear end, so it's got an independent rear suspension as well as the front. The front end is a Horton piece, and the combination of it gives it a really smooth ride. It kind of goes with the whole body style of just a slippery piece, really neat. Not only does the car really drive nice, but it's got some creature comforts too. It's got power windows, it's got air conditioning that really works. You know, those hot Friday nights when you're out for a cruise, you can leave the windows up, and then when it cools down, the power windows slide down. Just again, a very fun sort of car. The whole thing about this car is it's very subtle everywhere. The interior is very subtle. It's got a beautiful leather interior, door panels, nicely done, headliner nicely done, speakers tucked away, the stereo even tucked in one of the glove boxes here, but it's actually right in front of the driver. The, uh, the tack, it's the only thing that's a little bit out of place on, on the, the car, but it still works. The original style steering wheel looks right. Even the turn signal switch, you know, it looks like a little bit of an aftermarket piece, but from that era. All in all, a very subtle and nicely built car. Now the quality of this car, again, the guys spent over a thousand hours on this. Body and paint is just beautiful and he picked the right color for the lines. It really shows off the lines. The chrome work on it, he's gone around and done every piece of plating inside, outside, you know, nicely done. The interior, like I said, just flawless everywhere. Replacement cost, probably around seventy, eighty thousand dollars and well worth it. It's one of those cars that just turns a lot of heads and just looks great standing still, driving down the road. It really doesn't matter. It looks great anyway.